Well, if you're like me, then you're counting the days when things get back to normal and you can have meetings in person, guests in the studio. For now, though, we're doing things via Zoom. Joining me now with more on this is Leslie Boswell with Common Ground. Leslie, good to see you. It's good to see you, John. I'm sorry we can't be there in person, but we make this work. We wanted to talk about a couple of things. Number one, this is meeting season for farmers and ranchers. But number two, a lot of that is going on virtually this year. Tell us more. It absolutely has. The last in-person meeting we actually had was back in last June when we went to Indiana for the uh, 100 year celebration of the American Soybean Association. But every other meeting that we've had this year and coming up for the foreseeable future have all gone virtual. It's just a very trying time to try to stay on top of things because I've never felt that when you have a conference call or a Zoom meeting, you don't have the one-on-one -on -one face time. You don't have the conversation. You don't have the discussion about issues. You can get a little bit of that, but it's nothing like when you're sitting around the table and you can actually discuss an issue before you have to take a stand on it. We're still getting a lot accomplished. Um, I think decisions are being made. I just would feel a lot more comfortable if I had a lot more information about it and time to discuss and consider on it. I have talked before on here about the Commodity Classic, which is the national convention for policy for commodity groups for corn, soybeans, sorghum, and wheat. It's a huge convention and they have postponed or actually canceled it for this year, but they're doing everything virtual. Why is it important for farmers and ranchers to be connected and get involved with these meetings? I think it's always important. For one thing, with the farmers and the ranchers, when they go to things like this Commodity Classic, it's a learning process. They are learning new things about new technologies that are coming out, which is very active as far as new technology for farming. It helps farmers stay in business. There's so many different things that we need to do to keep ourselves educated and to keep our farms viable so that we can continue to produce the food for this country and for others. All right, and for now, a lot of the discussion is taking place virtually. Um, Leslie, thank you, and you're gonna be back in a little bit with a recipe. I am, I'm gonna be making mini pecan pies. All right, sounds good. We'll see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm.